Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. Have you ever wondered how you can track conversions with free listings on Google Shopping? Well now you can with Google Merchant Center which allows you to track conversions for free listings. You simply do this by enabling an auto tagging and then in Google Analytics set up a specific dashboard that filters to those specific conversions. And I will teach you how to do that. Let's get into it. The first thing that you need to do is go to Google Merchant Center. In the top right corner, click on the gear icon and then go to conversion settings. For this client, I've already enabled it. So simply click on the toggle and you can enable auto tagging. If this section is grayed out, that means you are not the admin of the account. In this case, you need to contact the admin of the account and ask them to update your access level to be admin and then you can enable it. Now, this is all well and good. You cannot see the performance data at the moment within the dashboard. You need to use a third party. In this case, that will be Google Analytics. As you can see, I've created here a dish dashboard uh, and you can see all the different uh, transactions and you can see also which landing pages have been clicked on and also a little graph of the locations so let's move that up so it's a little bit bigger there we go and now I will explain how you can do the same so let's go open up uh, the new dashboard so what we want to do is click on create we can choose a blank canvas or we can go and import from gallery. If you want to import from gallery, go to type in Google Shopping. And then if you scroll a little bit lower, you can see Google Shopping free listings conversion tracking that I've already created. And then you can simply import it. But I will teach you how to do it manually. So what we want to do, I will just do a test, create a blank canvas and then go and create dashboard what we want to do is the standard is going to be the line and then we want to add the metric transaction and then we want to add a filter and we want to choose landing page contains SRS LTID and then we can click on save and now you can see it has been created and now you can create lots of different widgets with the same filter so the only filter that you need to pay attention to is the landing page filter and that you choose SRS LTID that is what identifies the uh, landing page as a click from free listings. And if that then converts, then this is triggered in the URL. And that is how you set up conversion tracking for free listings on Google Shopping. And thank you very much for watching this video.